Hello, people. Today, I don't know what type of vibes I'm finna be on, but we just gonna cook something up, you feel me? So, let's just drop this to like 90, and we just gonna get on with it, you feel me? I might have to film a second intro, because I don't really know what I'm finna do. I love the fact that I automatically opened up Analog Lab whenever I'm trying to just cook up from scratch. Let's just use some random stuff. That's kind of cool. I, I kind of like this pattern. I don't usually use this pattern for like West Coast stuff. I usually use stuff like this for trap, but I kind of want to like experiment and try to like mix the two. You feel me? But I think I'm going to go get like a different sound. You feel me? So let's just kind of like scroll through some sounds, go to some different people's banks and everything like that and try to find something that's cool. That one right there might be the one. That one might be the one. Hey, shout out Ellis, bro. Now, I'm thinking about getting just like a pad real quick, and I ain't gonna lie. Out of all the banks I made, I feel like West Coast Magic 2 has some of my favorite pads. And if y'all wanna get that, first thing in the description, Gatekeep Sounds, 20% off. Was, did I plan on doing 20% off before I started the video? No. <laughs> Am I doing it now? Yeah. Okay, let's get it though. Uh, 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 dude, this is like all time favorite pad right here. I ain't even gonna lie, brother. Brother, I ain't gonna lie, brother. Let's copy and paste it over. Let's see how that sounds real quick. <laughs> So I already know that it got like a good amount of reverb on it, but I really wanted to make it like really, really ambient. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm going to make like a dark ambient kind of loop, probably put like a couple cool like textures and accents on it. And then after that, just go stupid on the drums. So this is just a string right here. I had no idea what I was doing with my hand right here. <laughs> I don't even know what I was doing, bro. I think I was just hitting the tremolo, you feel me? Um, but yeah, this is cool right here. We're probably just going to bring it down, throw like some delay on it, throw some reverb on it, you feel me? Just mess with these presets to something that I usually like doing. Uh, something like this, something like this. And let's get a couple like sound effects real quick. Drum vault, okay, boom. Uh, you know what? I feel like the deep piano. Uh, you know what? I do want to use a deep piano, but when it hits around like the G, it'd be sounding kind of weird. It'd be sounding kind of weird. So I think I'm gonna go with the tubular bell on this one. 
I feel the tubular bell is a little bit more versatile when it comes to like playing at whatever pitch. You know what I mean? Like, don't get it twisted. Like, the D piano can for surely like hit on G and everything like that, but I don't know. I just, it doesn't really hit for me. You know what I mean? Sometimes G is like one of them like awkward notes where it's like too high or too low. Uh, throw some delay on it. a little bit of reverb on it let's see how they sound real quick cool i'm digging those vibes right there i'm digging the vibes so let's open up rk let's try to get some vocals in here real quick i feel like if you're ever doing like i feel like if you're ever doing like dark ambient loops like vocals are always like complement it for sure go to my favorite joint distant voices let's choose a random one we in g minor let's see how these sound let's try to mess around find one that's cool I think that's gonna sound really cool at the end of the bar. Now I just need to throw like some effects on it. Actually, you know what? For the vocals, real quick, instead of just like making a whole chain, I'm just gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna get one of these presets from the Gatekeep Sounds bundle. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. I let pause. Pause, bro. All right, let's get Keyscape open. Um, let's just. I don't really, bro. I'm still kind of new to Keyscape, so I don't really know like which presets are like the best ones. We really just gonna choose like I don't know natural. That sounds cool. Let's just figure it out. But yeah, I want to throw a piano up in here, bro. I got some of them lows, boost up a little bit of the highs, something like this. Throw some reverb on this. All right, then let's try to make it like a little pattern in here.
Okay, okay, okay. So here's the deal. Here's here's the whole the whole thing right now. I don't really like the piano in the loop, but I feel like it could be kind of cool as like an intro. You feel me? So I low key might, or maybe even like a B section or something like that. So I'm low key finna just cut the bring the uh, bring the lows back in, use it for an intro, and then we can start throwing the drums on. You know what I mean? So we can just mute that for right now, and then we can start hitting some drums real quick. Now. I know y'all saw it in the last video, but it's almost done. So I'm dropping this video Friday the 4th. You feel me? I'm going to have this kit drop on next Friday. You feel me? Next week. One week from now, the next time you see this, my face on the next video, drum kit's going to be out. You feel me? So on the 11th, mark it on your calendars, bruh. But yeah, and everything in here going to be royalty free. Here's like a little preview of what's going to be up in there. You feel me? Got the bonus loops. You know what I mean? There's going to be 30 right here. There's 27 right now, I think, but it's going to be 30. You feel me? All royalty free, too, by the way. You also get all the MIDI. You get the FLPs as well. Got some 808s. This, now, this is something that I don't really see everybody else be doing. But I, I, I might change the game with this one. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen nobody else do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm calling them beat builders. So it's basically like little like sound effects and percussion loops that will help enhance your beat. And these are going to be royalty free as well. Watch. I'll click on a couple of them so y'all know what I'm talking about. You feel me? Small little things like that. So you could just like have your melody, bring it right here, and then you can just drag and drop your little beat builder like this. And then watch, you kind of like Loki already got a whole beat right here. Hey, low key, low key. I might just use this. <laughs> I might just use this right here. That was already sounding kind of hard. You feel me? Hey, low key. Let's just get the 808 in here right now. So I'm going to highlight all these melodies right here. And we're going to root them. Right click right here. Root to this track only. Now, all of these melodies right here, all these ones right here, they go into this mixer channel. Then they hit the master. You feel me? So. Whatever effects we put on this one, they're hitting all of the melodies. So I'm just going to do this just to cut out the low end for all of them. Did like that. Uh, then yeah, let's start. Let's just get AOA up in here, bro. Come on. We already know the deal with that one. We know that one. up hold up with the side no hold up hold up now hold up bruh hold up hey okay let's let's get some other let's get some other sounds in here real quick let's get like a hi-hat in here so let's get that one up in here 
And you know what? I kind of want to do a rim shot too. Ooh, that might be the one right there. Hold up. Yeah, that one might be the one right there. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, this one right here might be my favorite sound in the whole kit, bro. See, hey, it sounds like that little EVK roll, but it's like a, a new refreshing twist on it. You feel me? I'm finna throw this in probably like right here. And then I don't even have to worry about stretching or nothing like that because that's 90 BPM and I'm working at 90 BPM right here. So let's see how they work real quick. I just realized we have not put any hi-hats in here at all. <laughs> just these ones right here. Let's figure that out real quick. Actually, I'm tripping talking about figure it out. I got hi-hat middies in the kit. <laughs> I got hi-hat middies in the kit, bro. Hold up. Let's see what this... Oh, my. This is crazy. Hold on. Let's see how this is working. I'm just, mess, I'm just gonna mess around with a couple of them.
not gonna lie, that's kind of hard, and that does work here. But like, I feel like it's a little too busy for this type of beat. You feel me? Like, I already put in a good amount of like sound effects and everything like that. I want the hi hats to be kind of simple on this one. That's exactly what I was looking for. Just something just like mad simple, just like that. All right, now let's just see how this sound real quick before we keep on going. Hey, go ahead, Infinite. up now hold up you know what i wonder if i can do something like this oh yep 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 let me see what's up with that real quick Hey, go ahead, Infinite. Now, one last thing, I'm going to try to throw fresh air on the master real quick just to kind of like brighten everything up a little bit. Maybe just bring this up by like 10 or something like that. Then maybe make the melody a little bit quieter. Now, I'll see how that sounds one more time. All right, cool. I like how it sounded so far, but I'm gonna mess around with some of like the levels of the drums. So like my hi hats, I usually like having them hit around like negative three dB. So we just gonna make sure they hit around there. Yeah, I just had to turn them up a little bit. 
Now the, the rim shot. You know, it's hitting to the right a little bit, but that's fine, though. That's cool. But, yeah, it's just as long as that is hitting around that negative three, though. And always got to make sure that 808 is going crazy. Yep. Do I not have Do I not have the riser in the... No, I don't. I don't have it on the mix channel. That's why you kept on hearing it. And then the melody, I usually like to make sure it's around like negative 9 to negative 12, sometimes negative 15, depending on the beat. So let's see what that's at. So a little quiet, a little quiet. Let's so turn it up a little bit. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. What if we change this preset? I think I'm gonna have to change that preset. Yeah, I kind of like the other one a little bit more now. Um, let's do quick arrangement, quick arrangement, real quick. So, boom, intro, hook, hit this. Two of them is the verse. So, maybe we can get rid of those. You feel me? Something like that, something like that. I mean, uh, get rid of the hi hats for this one, hi hats at the end, keep that in the middle. You feel me? Something like this. Take out some of the sound effects. Cut off everything at the last four bars. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Maybe take this, bring it to the middle like that. Mm, cut that out. Ooh, maybe I can do a uh, another like little mini drop right here. You feel me? Then copy everything over. Do it one more time. And then just hit that outro. So let's see how this sound real quick. And then we're going to head up out of here, bro. That's it right there. That's fire. I'm leaving it just like that. That's hard to me, bro. I'm actually really glad that I changed the preset at the end, bro. I like it way more than that first one, bro. Shout out Mike Fuego. You feel me? Um, but yeah, 
that's gonna wrap up the video if you like the video hit the like you want to comment throw a comment if you want to sub hit the sub and remember if you want to check out some dope kits gatekeepsounds.com you feel me hit that first link and you'll automatically get 20 percent off peace